Now, the second part of the myth is bees are dis disappearing from the planet, and after honeybees are gone, the world is going to starve. Well, that's clearly a myth, and all I have to ask you is if you took a moment and ponder what foods actually feed the world, not the foods we necessarily get in our Western diet and love to eat every day, a nice big juicy apple, but what foods really feed the world? And if you think about it, it's the grains. It's things like, I just picked a year, and you could pick any year and go to the, this is from the UN FAO organization where they basically plot the tons of food that are produced every year, what actually feeds the world. It's corn, wheat, rice, barley, potatoes, sorghum, that kind of thing, and soybeans. <clears throat> and basically none of those need a pollinator. They're either self-fertile or wind-pollinated. The exception is soybeans do benefit from honeybees a little bit. They get about 5% of their value from soybeans. But in general, the foods that feed the starving world uh, do not need a pollinator. So that part of the myth is clearly wrong. Now, if we lost honeybees tomorrow, we'd be paying $4 an apple rather than $3 a bag of apples. That's the kind of thing that would happen. And of course, that would be a bad thing for us, but no one's going to starve.